Welcome back guys to another episode of Dark Souls 2. In this episode we are going to the Forest of Fallen Giants and we are going to kick some freaking ass. So let's go. Got our new Morning Star. Got our new helmet looking fancy. Got a rusted coin, sweet. That will boost luck when I am trying to give weapons or give the smooth stuff, smooth silky stuff to the crows in things betwixt. So we're gonna pull that, that is on a timer. This door opens very slowly, very, very slowly. I'm just gonna keep running into the door here to make sure I don't miss it. There we go. Yeah, see, it closes very quickly. A very small uh, time window. We can fit through there and down here. We have another item. Or should I say more items? We've got some human a human effigy. Never mind. Sorry. So and then we need to get over here, need a running start. Yeah, there we go. Sweet! Homeward bone and soul the lost undead. And here we are, in the forest of fallen giants. And our first enemy is this tiny little guy. He ain't nothing special, right? And over there in the top right you can see a bonfire. Hey buddy, you just got backstabbed. And this guy tried to get me too. But you're getting smacked down. So let's go over here and hit up this bonfire, just in case we do happen to die by some miracle. You know, we're too pro at this game to actually die. Bonfire lit. Sit down. No, I didn't really need to sit down at the bonfire, but... Yeah, every time you sit down at the bonfire, all of the enemies that aren't bosses respawn. So, yeah, we got some more guys to mess with here. This guy gets backstabbed again. This guy comes up trying to get me, but he fails and gets smacked down. On the ground! Now we got a bow guy over there, and then two more minions. Two more of his little minions here coming for us. Nice try. And nice try. I kind of make this look easy, don't I? <laughs> There is a guy to our right there with a shield, but I want to focus on the bow guy first. Because he will be far more of a pain in my ass if I don't deal with that. Oh, forgot that guy has a little bit more health. And he's dead. And normally people wouldn't pay any attention to this, but look at this guy. He's just pretending. He's alive. He's perfectly fine. But now he's dead. Over here we have a few more items. A item. Soul of the Lost Undead. Run inside of this tree here and up top we have something a little crazy for a starting area. I have a little bit of an ambush here. Oh hey! Hey buddy! There is a guy with a bow up top so I need- yep. You just saw the arrow fly by. Kata's try to stay out of his line of sight behind this tree here. And slowly take out these guys. Oh! Nice shot, buddy. But now you're dead. You messed up, mate. Give me this item. This guy, he's not an NPC. He's actually an enemy, but he will not attack you unless you attack him. And I will fight him in just a moment. I'm going to clear out the rest of the area first, because he's... He's quite a challenge, and I might actually die to him. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey! Watch yourself. There you go. A little close quarters combat there. Bow guy's right here. Nice try. Oh, he got me. And now you're dead. Over here's another item. Hey, how you doing? <sighs> it's so refreshing to be playing this game from the start again. It 
does get quite a bit harder as you go along. And I'm not quite sure how it's going to be playing the tank character. It's going to be totally new to me. And to begin with, we aren't going to really be able to actually play as the tank character because we need to uh, accumulate some weapons for us to uh, try out and advance and whatnot for us to truly become what we want to be. Okay, so the area is over, over here is cleared out except for one of these guys. I think it's this one. Are you actually alive? Yep. He was just pretending. This guy fell from the top there, so he's fine. You have another life gem for me. Now this guy, he's a, he, this is a hide knight. He is a bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll get him. Wake up. Hey, he is a lot more agile than he looks. Yeah, see what I mean? He does that. Have to get a drink off. Okay. I'm just gonna get quiet here for a second to concentrate. There we go. Whew. I think I hit him right in the face there. He was on the downward swing and I just swung my mace up and smacked him in the face. Sweet. Okay, so that's everything in this area. Uh, he actually gave me a pretty sweet weapon. So actually, let me see if I can equip that. I can equip that. So, as you can see here, it, it has... Uh, the basic attack there, it says 75. It's just the normal symbol for a sword. But then it also has the symbol for a sword with lightning on it with 50. So this attack, or this sword does 75 uh, damage of uh, just physical damage. And then it also does 50 lightning damage. So it actually has some elemental effects, which are useful against some enemies more than others. Um, I do want to be more of a, a hammer character, hammer tank, so I'm going to focus on the mace just to stick more to my build. But I will use that sword as a backup if this mace starts to break. Well, this guy doesn't even know what hit him. Nice try. Nice try. Behind here, a little bit of secret, there's some wooden bolts for a crossbow. And this guy, he was laid, waiting in ambush. Just turns around, go for the swing, and die. Nice try, buddy. Here's a new enemy. He's like, he's sort of like those guys, except he's faster and he has a great sword. So we're just going to smack him down. He has a little bit more health. It's not a problem. Up here is a bit of a challenge area. There's a guy with a bow there, and then up there you can see another guy. That guy, he throws firebombs at us. So we have to keep on moving once we get up here. We'll probably get hit a few times as we try to take out the other guys here. We saw that thing fly by that was a firebomb. Oh, hello. I'm gonna try to take out that guy. Oh, morning start risk. Switch to the sword. Oh, hey. Okay, so we're gonna go try to use it two-handed. Nope. That does a lot of damage to that guy, doesn't it? Foot soldier shield. And there's a guy over here defending a buckler, I think it is. Swing and miss and die. Nice try. Yep, there's a buckler. That is a parrying shield. Let's just see what we got here. Foot soldier shield doesn't defend much it defends less physical damage than the shield I have right now so we're gonna just keep using this guy <sighs> just gonna get this item over here there's a guy just sitting there thinking he's being all secret now this guy's got a pole arm but he didn't even get a chance to use it what a shame what a shame what do we got here Bonfire. 
Oh yeah. And a bunch of summon signs on the ground. You'd think that there's a boss here. <laughs> there's not. Don't worry. We're not going to have two episodes in a row with a boss. Buy something. Anything. Oh, come now help an old woman and buy something. <laughs> She is a creepy old woman. What do you got, though? You got another hammer. Ooh, with, with A scaling. In the bottom left there, you can see the muscle there. That is, it's this. That stands for strength. The top row with the yellow, with the yellow symbols. That is, the uh, stats that it requires. So it requires twelve strength and three dexterity to use. But it scales with uh, strength and just strength. So the scaling, it means that you get extra damage out of it. You get more than the 105 that it says that it gives. So I'm actually going to get this weapon. It should be pretty helpful. And we just have some uh, merchant armor there. Not interested in that. This key, it opens a shop back in Majula for the blacksmith. So I'm definitely interested in that. Some spells, not interested in that, this playthrough. And life gems are always helpful, so I'm getting them. Thank you, God. You're welcome, old, la old lady. So let us equip the club here. So let's see. Oh. Same sort of animation as the mace. But... We can look here. I don't know. I, I don't think you can see the mouse. If you, but if you can, right here it shows the damage that each weapon does. So this, I believe, is the first weapon. As one does, so it does 176 damage total. Yeah. And the hide knight sword, it does a little bit more. Um, but I'm still. I think I'm still going to stick with the mace just to get used to the attack patterns and whatnot. I think this is going to be a shorter episode since we short, sort of got to a stopping point here. I'm just going to uh, get the secrets in this room and head back to Majula real quick. We can meet the blacksmith. Then I'm going to end the episode off because it's getting kind of late and I'm very tired. So we killed that guy. There's a chest here. A small leather shield. Let's see about that. Um, it does block a little bit more. Uh, blocks fire, uh, lightning, poison. Uh, same amount of physical damage. So yeah, I'll, I'll use that for now. Hmm, doesn't look bad either. So this door here, it would actually need a key that you get from defeating the boss in this area. But you can also just break it down by hitting it three times. So that's what I do. Come over here, and we get some pretty good items. We get an Estes Flash, Estes Flask Shard and a small white soapstone. So the way that people place their summon signs is with the white soapstone. Basically you put that down, see right there, the, uh, the thing that used that one on the left there was a large or just a normal white soapstone. But on the right, it places that smaller one. Basically, the difference is the smaller white soapstone lasts until you kill a certain number of enemies. And the large one lasts until you kill the boss in the area. So if you're looking just to like get some Estus back or repair your, uh, repair your weapons and armor or whatnot, you should use the small white soapstone. But if you're looking to gain some more souls, you would use the large one. So, uh, I'm just gonna go in here, go to Majula. Here we are. And this lonely guy, he's the blacksmith. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here. 
seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. I got it, buddy. Here, I'll open it for you. Sweet. And in here, I think it's something we might actually be able to use to our advantage. Oh, no. That's a short bow. Not what I was thinking of. Unfortunately. But we're just going to refresh the bonfire here. And now he's gone from the front. And he is inside here. Hey, Lenegrass. Stand back. This is dangerous work. No, it's fine. Lenny Grast. Just a simple blacksmith. Lenny Grast. And you are? Uh, the uh, another useless traveler. I'm not useless. A man ought to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Well, excuse me. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, show me what you've got. Your equipment. Let me have a look. But do it quick. Okay, okay. So what do you got? Ooh, a battle axe. I want that battle axe. It sounds freaking awesome. He also has a mace, some spears. Some arrows. And some stuff to upgrade. Drat. <laughs> You're worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend your whole life in transit, you hear? I think I have to, but I haven't... I have something stuff to do. <laughs> Don't waste my time. So sorry. So yeah, we met Lenegrast. We entered the Forest of Fallen Giants. Uh, we're at the like the main central part of the Forest of Fallen Giants too. So in the next episode, we're gonna start making our way through. We're probably gonna tr attempt one of the bosses. We're gonna need to someone summon someone for it. So hopefully we won't have any problem with that. Uh, but that'll have to be done tomorrow because it's getting late. Uh, so thanks for thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Argus closed his eyes. <gasps> the moment he did, he felt a pain overwhelm his mind, and his eyes would not reopen. The singing stopped, and a peal of laughter rung out from everywhere and nowhere at all. He felt a hand touch his shoulder. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Sorry, I was just uh, touching my shoulder. For your yeah, for your viewers, you know, just to, so they understand the severity of that touch. I want to see if I can hold on to this Nether Star the entire time. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs>